This is unacceptable. Something gotta be done, man. Even as the pumps are working, the water has nowhere to go if they all clogged up. They just pulled a, a raggedy car out of one sewer last week. I mean, what's, what's going on? We all know the water comes up in the streets during heavy rains, but this is it's something else is, is going on here, and I don't have the answer. I can't tell you what is causing it, but I think we need to get to the root of it quick. New Orleanians are fed up with this flooding from summer rainstorms, mm -hmm. just an average rainstorm. Exactly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Moore and I'm Sharice Gibson. As you saw it there, business owners, residents spent the evening once again cleaning up after a flood. Once again, it's something they say is becoming all too common. Carice Jackman joins us live from St. Charles Avenue tonight, where she spoke with some of those fed up people who are probably cleaning up now. Carice. That's right, they've closed shop, but they were cleaning up earlier this afternoon when we spoke to them. Look, the guy behind us said this is the third time this has happened to him within three months, and they are tired of the excuses. Once again, New Orleans saw traffic gridlock and flooded streets after just another rainstorm. This happened twice in two months. So how do you explain that? This man carried a little boy on his back, taking belongings from a stranded car. Where's the pumps? Where, what's happening with that? Maybe there's more cars stuck in the drain. More than anything, I'm getting more and more embarrassed uh, to be from the city of New Orleans. Jess Bourgeois, owner of Lula Restaurant Distillery, had to place sandbags throughout his business. Every single time that it rains, you can basically book it that we're going to take on so much water here that we're not going to be able to open our doors and, and even do business. Yet, there's 15 permits I have to have. Um, God forbid, I, would never, I wouldn't pay my property tax here. It would be the first uh, call they would make. Donald Van Patten's in the same boat over at Voodoo Barbecue and Grill. The last time it happened, we lost about $6,000 in catering orders because we couldn't drive anywhere in the city. We couldn't get out the front door. We couldn't get in our kitchen. Um, and today we lost the entire day's business. You know, this evening, dinner rush, happy hour. It's all, it's all gone. It's to the point where they literally look out of the window and just wait. We'll watch it rain, and as soon as it hits the curb, we know we have to start worrying and thinking about, is it going to flood? If it gets to where the tree is, then that, that's it. That's our sign, pull the rugs up, get ready to, to sandbag, and, and then once it gets past the tree, that's it, we're going to flood. In a tweet, the Sewage and Water Board said the results of today's rain event were extreme and that their team is taking a all-hands-on-deck approach to get to the bottom of it. They also said that will take time and research. They don't know what the answer is because they can tell us 101 pumps out of 110 are working. Well, they're not working hard enough. You need bigger pumps or whatever it is, but they're not going to spend the money on that. Now, the Sewage and Water Board also added that this, quote, flood phenomena does seem uncommon, and if necessary, they'll create an action plan. Reporting live on St. Charles Avenue, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News. It seems very necessary. All right, thanks, Carice. Our crews ran into street flooding in St. Bernard Parish this afternoon, too. Wakes from drivers on St. Claude Avenue. Heading into the parish from Orleans, we're pushing water into a lot of businesses there. A lot of people uh, are saying that they're frustrated by that. Well, officials eventually shut down the outside lanes to slow down traffic and cut down on those issues. But one business owner says the problem doesn't start in St. Bernard. The sewer, they can't, but they got to get over there and clean these pumps and get some pumps working in the barracks. The barracks is a disaster, you know. Our, it's not our parish. That, that's not our water. Our water is here. It all came from them. It all came from Orleans, you mean? Definitely, definitely. Well, Sarah Gnan also told us this was the third time that area has flooded since May.